So our next speaker is Douglas Scott. Hi, uh, so I'm a cosmologist. I work on uh, physics of the universe on the largest scales. So the last few decades studying particularly the distribution of galaxies, which you can see on the slide, and the statistics of the cosmic microwave background in the middle there. Uh, putting all of that together, we have a simple model that describes the large-scale universe, which is called the Lambda CDM model. So it's a cosmological constant dominated cold dark matter model with just six parameters and some fairly simplifying assumptions. The parameters are now known to you know a couple of digits or three or four digits in a couple of cases. So we really are now are, are now doing a precision science. So this model incredibly successful at fitting a wide range of data. So the question is, are we done? Do we have the model that describes the whole universe? And obviously we're not done. So the question really is what's next? So you can see that there's a whole jumble of things that I indicated in the middle of the slide. There are questions for what's coming next and really no, nobody knows what direction will be most fruitful. So you know, we can ask general why type questions like, why is there only six parameters? Why do they have the values that they do? What exactly is the nature of the dark matter or the dark energy? What made the initial conditions that grew into all the structures in the universe? We can ask sort of how type questions. How exactly did structure form within this model? How come galaxies are the fundamental building blocks of stuff in the universe. How come they're the sizes and shapes that they are? When did the first galaxies form? Did the first galaxies form before the first black holes and so on? There are hints in the current data and model. So for example, there are so-called tensions in parameters. Little bits of the model that don't quite fit, will they be the right things to follow up? There are anomalies in the CMB that also people study. So the idea is to try to figure out where something can be, uh, some progress can be made that hasn't already been done. Uh, this changes on a sort of month to month basis. There are lots of different ideas. Um, so it's through a combination of theoretical predictions and careful analysis of the data, we try to figure out what the next breakthrough is gonna be. So with my group of graduate students and postdocs, and I've been asked to point out that this is postdoc appreciation week. Um, so postdocs are actually appreciated this week at least. Uh, then we're gonna try and find out whether we need just tweaks to Lambda CDM or a completely new paradigm, and who's gonna make the next big breakthrough. It could be my new graduate student. Okay, thanks Douglas.